Cleanup is underway at Calvary Pentecostal Church of God after a man drove his truck through the front of the church Sunday night. Yeah, thankfully no one was inside of the church or was injured, but a passenger in a truck was severely hurt and is now in critical condition. KPRC 2 Zach Lajway has been out there all morning long. Zach, what can you tell us? Brittany, it is a mess out here. Debris scattered throughout the front yard. Pieces of that truck. Certainly a close call for so many people inside this church and really folks who live in this area. According to police, this is what happened. The driver of that pickup truck was driving down Tidwell Road when he apparently hit another vehicle and lost control of his truck. Crashed into this fence, wiping out a gas meter before plowing into the church. Again, thankfully nobody inside was injured. However, a passenger in that truck was severely injured. And so we had natural gas spewing everywhere until he crashed into our building. In the process of doing that, one of the fence poles impelled his wife all the way to the shoulder. It was sticking out from the rear windshield all the way to the front windshield at an angle. And one of our members was in the restroom. We have a men's bathroom. The men's bathroom was totally dest destroyed, but the women's bathroom was okay. But there was a lady in there. Uh, in the restroom when it happened and it sounded like an explosion, it sounded like a war explosion and we didn't know exactly what happened. The pastor of the church says they had to forcefully stop the driver from trying to pull away from the church after striking the building. The pastor believes the driver was intoxicated. The second vehicle the driver reportedly hit has not been found. As for the woman inside the vehicle, she was conscious and able to communicate. The driver, according to parishioners, was arrested. As soon as we learn of any charges or updates on this case, we, of course, will update you on air and online at clicktohouston.com. We're live this midday. I'm Zach Lajway, KPRC 2 News.